indulging my woe so insanity by actually paying to be here today. It means a lot to me, and I think it means a lot to other people who are trying to build women's soccer. Um, I had the idea for this last fall uh, when I saw that Houston would be hosting the CONCACAF Olympic soccer qualifying, and we'd have the semis and the final, and I thought we need to do something on Saturday. People will be in town. I know I'm not the only person that's crazy about women's soccer, so let's try to all get together. Um, so I had about 20 people last February, I thought it went really well. We had a couple of great presentations, some really nice guest speakers, and when it was announced that Houston would host the final, I was like, hey, I can do it again, and I don't even have to leave my hometown. It's great. <laughs> Um, so this is WOSACO 2.0. I hope it gets bigger and better every year. Um, I am very open to constructive feedback, not during the sessions, but <laughs> afterwards if you want to email me. That's great. Um, and I also want to say thank you to my volunteer helpers who have come and made all of this functional today. All right, we have a couple of sessions. There's a schedule if you haven't seen it. There will be breaks. There will be times for Q&A um, for everyone, so you will get a chance um, to, well, I think everybody will get a chance to ask a question. It's okay if you need to get up in the middle of something to get a drink. There are a couple of bathrooms back there, and if you need to leave early, that's cool. We won't hold, we won't hold it against you. All right, so anybody who follows me on Twitter <laughs> knows that I'm, I'm pretty into the soccer trivia, especially the women's soccer trivia. Um, and I've spent a lot of time living with the, the US media guys. If you haven't seen these, you should definitely download them. Um, you can get them from the US soccer site. There's one put out every year. It's a really huge PDF, so big now that they have a separate one for men and women's. Um, they still print a few. Obviously, back in the day, they used to only be printed. And I <coughs> clearly remember the first time I saw a media guide, having never seen something like it before, going, oh my god, all of this information is in one place. And I Mark it up and make lists. Like so you can download these for yourself. You don't have to rely on me to tell you, you know, about the caps. So they have stuff like player profiles. All right, it'll be the current players. <laughs> I did this for Max. Thank you. <laughs> so you can see how, how much they played, started, minutes, goals, assist points, lots of bio information. We've also got year-by-year -year stats, which I love, like who they played, what the result, where it was, the attendance, all kinds of great stuff. And then a full player registry of every player who has ever played for the U.S. national team. I thought this particular segment was fascinating. So we've got Kelly Lindsay, who's now coach of the Afghanistan women's national team. Lori Lindsay, who Washington Free fans, you better recognize. <laughs> Uh, Carla Lloyd, I think we know who she is. <laughs> <laughs> Joanna Lohman, who's playing tomorrow. Ella Masser, her one cap for the U.S. National <laughs> Megan McCarthy, who probably most of you don't know, but she would have been on the 1991 Women's World Cup team, but she tore her ACL right before the tournament. And Lindsay McDermott, first woman to win a professional women's soccer title as coach. That's what you Caroline Courage. So, might not be as fascinating for you, but this stuff is fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> and lineups. Lineups of every single game wow. ever played. When, against who, where, score, lineups, captain, goal scorers, subs with minutes. Fascinating stuff. So, I ended up entering almost all this stuff into a spreadsheet. <laughs> 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 Finally figured out, you know, why I'm not going to have children. Because <laughs> 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 of this, uh, and you can see my fun color coding. And here's a hat trick. Here's the first time I've <coughs> ever scored an international goal. Here's a PK. That, that kind of thing. So I've got really familiar with this data. And so victory tour last year uh, in Phoenix was one of the last ones. And I like to do my trivia on Twitter around, you know, whatever's happening. So I was like, hey, I'll do something that's like, how many times have they played in Arizona, or, or how many goals have they scored in Arizona? And yeah, off the top of my head, I already knew how many times they played in Arizona. But I learned after doing broadcast, I better double check. 
<laughs> Just because I think I know, I better double check. Because I was like, hey, I know they played in 2000, 2011, 2012. It's just three games. But I go to the media guide, and I see this. And immediately I'm like, they didn't play in Arizona in 1995. It's not my data. So I start checking through the rest of the media guide. I go to the lineup page for that era. So we've got through August 94. And note that it starts again February 1995. Like, wait, those games aren't in there. I'm sorry, I think, like, wait, did those, maybe those games were closed door matches or not full international matches? Um, just to be clear, sometimes um, if a game doesn't follow a certain FIFA standards, it's not going to count as a full international. If they don't play a set amount of time or follow certain standards. You know, so I was like, maybe they were just, maybe that's why they're not in there. I reached out to a friend of mine um, who was the Australian Federation. He was like, no, we have those full internationals in our, in our stuff. Um, I found this article online with Tony DeChico talking about it and seeing, you know, Christine when they played. And, you know, it's like, okay, these sound like real games. And then I started thinking, oh my God, Christine when they played. And that cap isn't in her world record total. I might have just changed. And so then my head implodes because <laughs> <laughs> And then I'm like, would anybody care about this but me? But I, now I'm so far down the rabbit hole that I can't, I can't stop. Um, so then I go back and I check against the lineups all of Christine Lilly's appearances and goals. Go ahead, laugh. <laughs> Do you know if these games were full internationals or not? And he's like, oh, I totally remember those games. There were mudslides in California. We had to move to Arizona at the last moment. Um, yeah, they're in there. I don't know why. I mean, they're in our record. But I don't know why they're that. I'll check. Um, he, he didn't get back to me. I didn't follow up. You know, the season starts, other things going on. The media guide comes out, at least the PDF comes out in July. And I download it. And I'm like, oh my god, those games are there. The game's been added. And people's numbers have changed. <laughs> so Christy and Lily's world record is now 354. Without doing a thing. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't have to come out of retirement. I know. Um, Mia's goal total didn't change. That was kind of freaked me out. So I was like, oh my god, what if it was 159? But no, it was 158. Um, but I did change the goal total for Michelle Laker to Karen Guevara. Does everyone know who Karen Guevara is? Yeah, I know. All right wife of Jim Guevara, but that's just a side thing. She's, all, she's the first woman to win the Golden Ball at the Women's World Cup, 1991. So this was very exciting for me. <laughs> and I was reduced to it. <laughs>
one of the things that I found fascinating about this is 1995 seems like a long time ago, um, but it's not. The web was around, but that you can see how young U.S. soccer was, how young soccer was, um, that the resources weren't the same, so that data wasn't in as many places where now every game they play is, it's all over the internet, we all see the stats, everyone's tracking it. So, so Christy Willie, it's my gift to you. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I'm now gonna turn it over to Dan Laletta, the only person who rivals me when it comes to women's soccer nerdiness. And Dan has the distinction of being the only person who has attended all 10, including tomorrow, we'll go ahead and give it tomorrow, all 10 women's pro soccer finals in the U.S. So that's three for WSA, that's Foxboro 2001, Atlanta 2002, San Diego 2003, that's LA 2009, Bay Area 2010, Rochester 2011, Rochester 2013, Seattle 2014-15, and 